Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to us so you don't miss out on all the awesome stuff we have here for you. We will be going through Unit 3, Digital Portfolio Assignment 3 in this video. The three sections we'll be working on are P6, M5, D3, and D3. We'll be reviewing the portfolio. Objectives. Explain how the final portfolio is suitable for the intended audience and purpose. Review the extent to which the final portfolio meets the needs of audience and purpose, considering feedback from others. Finally, evaluate the final digital portfolio against the initial design and justify changes made, making recommendations for further improvements. On this slide, you can see what your assignment would look like in a nutshell. Let's read the scenario. Now that you have completed your portfolio for the IT role at a potential employer like Connected, write an evaluation of it by comparing the finished product to your original designs. Justify any changes you made from your original design. Look at your testing and feedback you received. Are there any further improvements you think would make your portfolio better meet its purpose and the needs of the recruiters at Connected? And I won't read through all the objectives again, but these are the three tasks we'll be covering for this video. This is a sample assignment and remember the word sample means that you're going to use it as a guide you're not going to plagiarize you're not going to give me back the same thing that you see on the screen i won't read through this because it's here to guide you you can read through it on your own pay attention to the digital portfolios design how does it meet the needs of the recruiter or the interviewer do you have your applications on there do you have your cvs on there do you have past work on there you want to write it up in this section to ensure that it meets the needs of the recruiter or the audience so to speak this section is a continuation of p6 and we'll be talking about the purpose and how it relates to the requirements of the digital portfolio website so in here you'll see how the person that wrote this is talking about navigation and how it makes the website a bit easier to use which hence makes the website user friendly please don't plagiarize and i will say this on all the sample sections of this video as this is not for you to just reproduce is for you to use as a guide this section is m5 review the extent to which the final portfolio meets the needs of the audience and purpose considering feedback from others for this section you need to ensure that you at least have two questionnaires or two feedback interview you need to also ensure that you make reference to the feedback when making changes for your website. This is a continuation of M5. So you're still in the review aspect of the assignment. This person has a GCSE page. So unless you have a GCSE page, please don't make reference to it. And this is what I'm talking about. This is not for copying. This is a guide. The final section, this is the D3 section. We need to evaluate the final digital portfolio against the initial designs and justify any changes made, making recommendations for further improvements. 
So for this section, you need to make recommendation, at least three recommendations in order to pass this section of the assignment. You need to explain your design. So your design will be your storyboard alongside your final design for your website. So your digital portfolio website compared or justified why you made ch you made changes sorry why you made changes to maybe the color the layout you need to think about the changes that you've made write it up and justify why you have done so some justifications could mean that the client has request requested it it could be from you yourself looking and evaluating both your design and your final designs and saying what changes you made and what reasons you actually made these changes. This is just a continuation, I won't read it, but these are the only examples. And remember, if you see grammatical errors, I did not do these. These are only examples. So you want to thank the people that actually gave me these as examples. I'm just giving it to you as a guide. So somewhere to start from, if you need further clarification, always, always refer to your assignment briefs or your class notes. Three recommendations for improvements. This is just a sample and have a look at it. The recommendations should be about the digital portfolio itself, the website, not the content. For other improvements, that's another section. So have a look at it, have a look, read, feel around, decide what you wanna write. You can do a draft, it's always best to do a draft and then your final version. Good luck. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we have here for you. And remember, if you need any clarification, to speak to me or refer to your class note or to your class teacher. See you later.